Let's take a look at how John Bergsma illustrates the creation story in his book, Bible Basics for Catholics. To illustrate the days of creation, let's draw a tall box and divide it into six squares. Make the box as big as you can because we'll need to draw inside each square. Now, number the squares one through six, starting in the bottom left-hand corner, like so. On the first day, he creates the light and the darkness, calling the one day and the other night. This is easy to illustrate. Just cut square one in half diagonally. Fill in the bottom half with the side of your pencil. There, you have just illustrated the first day, the creation of light and dark, day and night. This is the creation of time, so write the word time to the side of your diagram, like so. On the second day, God creates the great expanses of space, the skies, and the seas. These are not difficult to sketch. For the sea, make a squiggly line, like so. And for the sky, a cloud or two will work. God has now formed space, so write space to the side, like so. On the third day, God creates the dry land and the vegetation. Let's make an island in the sea with a simple curve. A tree and a few blades of grass will represent the vegetation. Let's write habitat to the side. The dry land and vegetation will provide a home for animals and eventually for humans. At the end of the three days, God has solved the issue of formlessness. Cosmos is formed, but it remains empty. The next three days address this issue. First, the realm of time, the day and night, is filled with inhabitants, the sun, moon, and stars. The sun can be a simple circle with some radiating lines. The moon is a basic crescent, and the stars are easy enough to draw. The realm of time is now populated. On the fifth day, God moves on to filling the great spaces with the birds and the fish. A few well-placed curves can serve as fish and fowl. Just the habitat remains now. On the sixth day, God makes the animals and man. For the animals, I like to make a snake and a giraffe. For Adam, a stick figure will do. Creation is almost complete, except for the climax, the roof on the whole building. That's the seventh day of the Sabbath, the day of rest and worship. Let's mark that by putting a roof on top. The structure we've been building is a temple. As Christians, we mark a house of worship with a cross. So if you want to put a steeple and cross on the top, go ahead. Congratulations. You have just drawn a picture of the temple universe that God built in seven days.